Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. Other than my awesome miniature painting partners, this channel is fueled by my crazy awesome patrons. By the way, the longer video tutorial of this painting and a quick step-by-step -step is up at Patreon. Today, we talk about painting from light to dark and painting from dark to light. In my painting workshops here at the studio, I usually ask the workshoppers, I mean, it's that a word? Anyways, I usually ask them if they're more comfortable painting from light to dark or painting from dark to light. The perfect, most famous example of painting from light to dark is Lop Chop. You start with zenithal underpainting or white primer or even gray or light gray primer. You start painting on the lighter colors like yellows and then you add in the medium tone colors and then eventually the shades and then eventually the recesses. People usually use contrast paints, maybe express colors from Vallejo and Army Painter when painting from light to dark. And of course, cuttlefish colors, which are pre-glazed paints, are easier to use when you're painting from light to dark. Lastly, you could also paint with oils when painting from light to dark, but most people paint the base colors first and just use oil washes to tone down, add volume, and give more definition to their miniature painting. Painting from light to dark is very fun. It's very relaxing. It's usually I do this. I do painting from light to dark like apply washes, paint recesses sometimes, or just do oil painting. Usually late at night after our movie time because it's really relaxing and you don't really need to focus too much on like painting highlights or even painting like doing layering, which is basically painting from dark to light. So even though you could finish the painting of a miniature with contrast paints and inks and come up with good painting, I highly recommend you also learn painting from dark to light, which is basically layering. The first part of this video is basically painting from light to dark, although we use an airbrush and some washes. So now, we're moving on to painting the burning skulls, which is painting from dark to light. Normally, I'd use my cuttlefish colors, but to make the video a bit more accessible, we're using Vallejos. First off, technically, any painting, any method, dry brushing, washes, oil painting, they're all layering. You layer paints on top of each other. But I'm referring to layering here, which is like the common understanding of layering, is painting lighter colors on top of the previous color. But of course, again, technically, painting from light to dark is also layering. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm clear here that basically I'm referring to like painting from black paint or black primer. And then we layer and layer, we apply layers of lighter colors on top of each other. And we paint smaller areas as the color gets lighter. Some painters find layering a bit more difficult. Well, not really difficult. It's just a bit more time-consuming, I guess. And especially people who are new to the hobby find layering a bit more complex or a bit more cumbersome. I don't really know the word. But layering is actually very easy. The two key points of making layering easier is to use more paints. By using more paints or mixing more colors, mixing those paints to produce more colors, your transitions will be smoother. Or you could follow my usual method wherein I do layering via fat glazes or with cuttlefish colors, which are pre-glazed paints. Basically, fat glazes are semi-transparent but still semi-opaque layers of paints. Thus, your transitions will be smoother. 
So that's painting from light to dark with washes and contrast paints and painting from dark to light via layering. Now it's time to thank all my patrons. I cannot do this without their support. So if you like the videos here and you like me creating more videos, do consider being a patron. Anyways, I'm very happy with my result here, although I think the flame I need to paint flame strokes to make it look a bit more interesting. I need to go back and paint the bloodthirster first. I need to finish the actual model before I go back and refine this basing. But basically, that's it for now. I hope you like the video. That's it, pansit guys!